it's my final day in Siem Reap sadly guys my my journey in Siem Reap has come to an end but guess what my journey in Cambodia has not ended I'm on my way to Phnom Penh this morning uh, let me just cross the road and get in my ride here this is my taxi I'm sitting in the van right now on my way to the next destination anyway guys I am gonna miss Siem Reap it was an amazing amazing experience I would recommend this place anytime to anybody guys I showed you in my previous video how you can travel on a budget and how I got to Siem Reap and you can do the same if you're uh, adventurous like that or otherwise just book a ticket uh, a direct ticket to this place and take it from there wow. I was the first pickup by the way, so that's why I'm alone in the van at the moment. So you can book a ride with a bus to Phnom Penh from Siem Reap as well. And I checked the prices online and the buses were charging $40 between Siem Reap and Phnom Penh. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly, if it's Phnom Penh or Phnom Penh, don't judge me. <laughs> um, so the prices were $40 and um, I delayed booking the bus trip because I wanted to be flexible with my time in Siem Reap. Uh, I just thought to myself, if I liked it, I wanted to extend. If I didn't like it, I would, I would uh, reduce the number of days. I've seen quite a bit. I haven't seen enough, obviously, I haven't seen everything, but um, I think it's enough to keep me going and uh, to have a memory of Siem Reap. It actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Remember I always told you that booking online is the safest bit, but it's not always the cheapest bit. So when I, as soon as I got to my hotel in Siem Reap, I noticed that they offer bus rides and van rides to Siem Reap and to many other cities within um, Cambodia as well as Bangkok and Laos and so forth and then I noticed that the price to Siem Reap was $14 for the van which is really cheaper than the bus ride and also a bus ride uh, from Siem Reap, a bus ride from Siem Reap would then cost $12 from $40 so as you can see guys sometimes it helps to just delay those decisions a little bit I'm not saying to do it all the time because you might run into problems that you might not find a ride <laughs> and you end up paying more or maybe even double the price of $40 so uh, in my case um, I think I was blessed I don't call it luck I call it blessed and so uh, I got it for so I decided to book the van ride for $14 because the van ride is 5 hours and the bus ride takes around 6 hours, 6.5 six hours. Um, if I get to Phnom Penh, I get there just in time for my check-in so I won't be too early or too late. We just stopped over to pick up some more people. At the uh, central station I guess for this bus company Booking Express and then I just got myself a latte and some pastry thing but I'm not sure what's on the inside it's like something sweet Five minute bathroom stop. Alrighty. And then we'll be on our way. It is now just after 11. I think we're about, yeah, yeah, it's about it's 11.38. So we're about an hour and a half into our 
into our drive. I think uh, another three hours to go, three and a half hours. Check this out. Check out that big restaurant over there, Limbu Limbuna. Hang call. And there's a supermarket as well at the garage. Ah, it looks like beef jerky. Nice. Um, it's like grapefruit. Hello. More refreshments and a mint. Here we go. now at 12.48 so that means it's close to three hours into our trip and we've just made another stop at a restaurant I'm not sure if they're filling up or anything it doesn't seem like it but I reckon this is kind of just a, uh, a quick stop to have something to eat uh, the driver just told me that we're gonna do a 20 minute stop so I think another just another bathroom break and then maybe just grab a quick takeaway and then we'll be on our way again Phnom Penh here we go Let's see what they have hello can you tell me what this is? Oh. <laughs> no English no English? It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Slowly. That first one definitely looked like a curry. That one looks like a beef curry or something. It's so hot. It is 36 degrees. Man, it feels like 40 or something. It is really, really hot. Thank God we have air conditioning in the van. So uh, that is some relief at least. Just came into the cafeteria. Maybe to get something lighter, man. That uh, food is a bit too heavy. This looks good. Korean kimchi flavor. I think that's going to be great. That should be hot. We have arrived in Phnom Penh and uh, we immediately get the big city vibes. Alright, as you can see, the huge building, obviously, still the tuk tuks and the motorcycles. That's not gonna change. And yeah. So the next thing for me to do now is to find my hotel. I've already been offered a tuk-tuk ride, but I'm just wondering if I should just book a tuk-tuk on Grab and see what it will cost. I'm just going to make some um, uh, comparisons and then see what which option I'm going to be using. Hello, how are you? Doing? Hey, thank you. <laughs> Here you go, Grab. Booking. I'm going to uh, Best Central. Best Central. One dollar. Okay. You wanna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So 
so my German friend didn't have the app and what I did was uh, because we drove here together I just booked another grab taxi for him so he's on his way now to his hotel it's a bit further from where I'm at but this is my hotel it's the uh, best central point hotel and let's check in and get that done This is just outside my room and there it's at. Let me give you my first impression of the room. Alrighty. I'll come back to the bathroom in a bit. There it is. My uh, king size bed. That's amazing. TV, desk space. And we have, uh, we have AC. Rack space for your for the uh, for your shoes and also hanging space for your clothing. And there is a safe. There is also a bar fridge, which I'm sure is empty. Ooh, there's some goodies in there, but I think if you indulge, you obviously have to pay for that. There are the prices. All right. But you know, sometimes you get desperate, guys, and you actually just go for it. The bathroom is... There we go, the sink, the uh, toilet, and the shower. Let's see. Nice. All right, it's separated, which I like. All right, guys, so I'm paying $15 a night, and I'm staying for two nights. All right, so there's also a kettle. And then we have... I think these are complimentary. These potato chips and the noodles you have to pay for. And that's just a quick view of the outside. View from our hotel room. I'm right in the center of the city, guys. So that is cool. It's probably gonna be a bit noisy at night, but I don't mind. It's all good. 